What did you just say? I said, your brother Antonio is in the room next door. If your brother doesn't answer this phone, then I'm just gonna go over there and see him in person. Don't do this, Teresa. This could only give you more grief. Maybe it will, Whitney. But maybe I'll be the one who causes you grief. Certainly, May. Take my bag to my room, please. Excuse me? You heard me. Take my bag to my room. And you are Mrs. Julian Crane, and I'm coming home. Oh, well, now we have too, too many Mrs. Julian Cranes. No, we don't. I'm the only legal one. Neither Ivy nor Rebecca were married to Julian at the time of his death. I was. So. I'm going to my room. <laughs> what a good idea, Charity. You're so thoughtful. Miguel can stay upstairs in your room, and you can stay down here on the couch. Me? Mm -hmm. And if you need anything at all, just call. I'm across the hall. Well, if, if it's cool with Charity... Th good. Then it's settled. Come on. Let's go to bed. Did you feel that, Ken? What the heck was it? I know you're all nervous about the DNA results. Uh, waiting. It's okay. We both know in our hearts we're mother and son. Nothing can keep us from believing that. John's right. I mean, the test results are just a formality. Well, why not have Eve read the test results? I mean, I, for one, am getting tired of waiting f oh, Well, for Grace to get the good news, of course. Right. Um... I know this is really bad timing with your house and everything, but... It's all right. You want to hear the test results? I understand, Grace. Okay, Eve, would you read the results, please? This is it, Timmy. Finally. Nothing can stop the truth from raining down on their heads now. No! Ever so humble and badly decorated. But you can't stay here. This is Mrs. Crane's bedroom. Well, that works perfectly, seeing as I am Mrs. Julian Crane. Whatever you call yourself, this is my employer's room. I can't let you stay here. If I did, I'd get fired. Look, I want to make this easy on you. What's your name? Phyllis. Okay, Phyllis. I'm your new boss. Ivy is out. But don't worry, I will protect you. I'll give you a raise, benefits, even a 401k plan. But you have to listen to what I tell you, not Ivy. Do you got it? I think so. Good. Now, we'll begin with that hideous bedspread. You know, I just, mm, I've always hated it. I want the pretty blue one from the room next door. <sighs> Teresa, what you're doing is wrong. You need to stop. Are you kidding, Whitney? I've only just begun. Wait till you see when I do with these walls. Here, take it away. Toss. 
Fuck it, burn it, do what you want, just get it out of my sight. Benefits. Medical, dental, including orthodontia. Now you may need that. That's pretty. <sighs> what's wrong with you? The color of these walls, Whitney, that is what's wrong. I have got to change them. You need to stop this right now. You're, you've gone crazy. I don't know about crazy, but definitely ugly. You know, you may think this is real funny, but this isn't the Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald that I know and love. You're acting like some selfish wannabe diva. Because I'm not Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald anymore, Whitney. I'm Mrs. Julian Crane, and it's time I started acting like a crane. Help me! Mother! You saw her? Ready? Oh. One, one, two, three. Oh. 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 Are you all right? What happened? I, I don't know. I, I was sitting here one minute, and the next the chair was just tipping over. I, I guess the ground must be soft or something. Seems pretty solid to me. Uh. Maybe the ground's still wet from the fire hoses. Uh. What's wrong? I don't know. It's a pain in my back. It's, it's excruciating. I just like someone stabbing me in the spine. Oh. What was that? It felt like some kind of jolt, flash, or something. You felt it too, didn't you, Kay? Uh, no. Where'd it come from? Maybe it was just a gust of cold air from the chimney. No, it didn't feel cold to me. It was hot. Well, Dad had a fire going in there earlier. Maybe the air in the flue is still warm? Unless you can think of a better explanation, Charity. Oh, um, your explanation's as good as any. <laughs> Let's just go upstairs. Just a second. Um, I, I just... I don't think you should sleep upstairs, Miguel. I think you should sleep here on the couch. Oh, why is that? You know, Kay. If you're worried about Mom and Dad, you know, I... Charity's right. I, I shouldn't even go upstairs. I promised Chief Bennett I'd sleep on the couch. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, Miguel, I know my parents. I know, I know, but I'm a guest in your father's house. And I'm gonna abide by his rules. Good idea. I'll be fine down here, okay? You got a really comfortable couch. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get you an extra blanket and pillow, then. Thanks. So, um... I guess we have to say goodnight. Uh, Miguel, are you sure you're gonna be okay down here? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for giving us a moment. Let's go. Hey, um, before you go, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for everything that happened tonight. The fire? That wasn't your fault. No, I know. I just... I mean, somehow I feel responsible for putting you in danger. Well, you shouldn't feel that way. No, there's no reason at all for you to feel that way, Miguel. I think it was probably just God working in mysterious ways. Yeah, or some maniac arsonist on the loose in the neighborhood. On second thought, I think I should stay up, watch out for him or her. No, that won't be necessary, Charity. You know that my father's the chief of police. If there's any trouble, he'll take care of it. We should go upstairs. Good night, Miguel. Uh, yeah, good night. Charity? After you? No, after you. I insist. No, really. My brother, Antonio, is in the room next door. Back up. Damn it. Who do you think you are? We should better get the phone. Yeah. Hello? Come on, Diana. Hang out. No! 
Why don't you want to talk to your brother? Because my brother doesn't want to talk to me. He wants me out of his life. Just give it up, okay? Whatever it was, they hung up. Now, what's this about Antonio? I just saw him out on the balcony. But my brother's here? Yes. He was out on the balcony, and then he went back into his room. No, please, wait. Look, my brother is here. I promised my mother if I ever ran into my brother again, I would bring him home to her. I'm not going to break that promise. Listen, I understand how you feel, okay? But you have got to understand that Antonio thinks you're mad at him, furious at him. He doesn't think you ever want to see him again. Right, you should not have hung up. I told you, my brother wants no part of me. He doesn't want to see me, and he doesn't want to talk to me. That's why he didn't pick up. He didn't even know that it was you. He might not even be there. He is. He's there. Well, how can you be so sure? Because I talked to the woman that he's with. Your, your brother's here with another woman. Who is she? You are going to do what my mom and dad want, right? And what would that be? Stay away from Miguel. Are you jealous, Kay? Because Miguel and I almost did the deed tonight. That is, until you set Flo's house on fire. <laughs> I had to do that to save him. You're a demon. If he has sex with you, he'll die. What a way to go. I'm warning you, stay away from Miguel. Me? You're my creation. You'll do as I say. You are going to go into your room, aren't you? Oh, yes. As soon as you go in there. No, after you. The only solution is that we go in at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. On the count of three, we go in, all right? Okay, start counting. One, two, Three. <laughs> Poor Kay. So naive. Like I'm gonna honor my promise to anybody. Much less Sam Grace. I gotta stop this demon. It's the last thing I do. And it may be. Why are we arguing when we should be thinking about redecorating, Whitney? Come on, give me some ideas and think big. Money is no object. You are pregnant, okay? You're about to give birth to a precious little baby, and all you can think about is redecorating. Well, it's for the baby, too. I'm going to redo the nursery green. That is going to be the color scheme, and it will work no matter what it is. It. The baby. The doctor already told you that you're probably going to have a little boy, and you're still referring to him as it. Well, the doctor didn't say for sure if it was a boy. So why don't you go ahead and tell me, what kind of names have you thought up for it? I'm going to have plenty of time to pick out a name. You are in major denial, Teresa. Here we go. I know how you are, okay? I know how you think. You think that if you ignore something long enough, that it's going to go away. But that's not going to happen with this baby. No matter how hard you try to will it away, that child is going to come out. I know that, Whitney. Put yourself in my place for just a minute. I'm going to give birth to Julian Crane's baby. Julian is a demon in hell now. 
and before he was a demon on earth. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? I always wanted to have a crane baby. Not Julian's, Ethan's, the man that I love. Only now I am pregnant with a child of the most evil man in harmony. And I'm scared. Whitney, I am scared. <laughs> so I'm confused. What's going on, Princess? Well, my reckoning is that this is Ivy's last ditch attempt to stop Eve. My money's on the good doctor. Okay. Dr. Russell will take care of you now, Mother. You still in pain? Uh, terrible. You can pull all the stunts that you want to, Ivy. I am still going to read these DNA test results no matter what you do. Well, maybe you don't care what happens to you, but what about your precious daughters, Whitney and Simone? Don't you threaten my daughters. Oh, it's not a threat, Eve. It's a promise. If you don't do exactly what I want you to do, I'm going to turn your daughters into drug addicts, just like their mother used to be. You know, you're insane. My daughters would never. Oh. Who do you think had Whitney drugged at the youth center? You did that. Yes, I did. And if you don't do what I want you to do right now, change those DNA test results? Well, let me tell you exactly what is going to happen to those precious little daughters of yours. What did you mean just now? About my brother being here with another woman? <laughs> did I say that? Yes, you did. I don't know. It just... So, who is she? She's a girl that we both knew years ago. From what I heard, he dated her all the way through high school. But then they broke up. Why? Because I left town, and he felt like he had to support the family. And he couldn't do that and be with her at the same time? I don't know. Maybe something else happened. That's just what I heard. Well, they're together now, so I guess it was meant to be. I'm not so sure about that. A few years after they broke up, he met someone else. And from what I understand, she was the real love of his life. Well, then why isn't he here with her now? Because she died not too long ago. From what I gather, he's having a hard time getting over her. So then why is he here with another woman? Maybe he just wants to move on. Extraordinary. I feel terrible, Louise. I, I promised Antonio that I wouldn't tell you he was here. He's too scared to face me. I don't know, but he was so emphatic that I keep quiet and not tell. Please, don't go barging in there, okay? You need to just give yourself and Antonio a little time to, to come to terms with, with what you've just learned. Oh, honey. No wonder you feel so disconnected from this baby. I can't help it. Oh, God. Help me, I want to feel connected to it. I mean, this is supposed to be the most joyous time of my life. But instead, whenever I think about the baby, all I can see is Julian's face. You know, um, I understand. 
understand what you must be going through. I really do. But you can't blame the sins of the father on your child. This child isn't Julian. Julian is the father, Whitney. And what if this baby turns out like he did? Look, he's gonna have you for a mother. Pilar for a grandmother, a gazillion aunts and uncles. Grow up loved and appreciated. And best of all, happy. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing like Julian. <laughs> just delivered for Mrs. Crane. Oh, what is it, Phyllis? Her new spring wardrobe from her designer in New York. Designer clothes. Should I put them in the guest room, or should I have them sent to where Mrs. Crane is living now? <sighs> no, Phyllis, they are staying right here. These aren't your clothes, Teresa. But they were dressed to Mrs. Julian Crane, and that's me, so these designer clothes are mine. Oh, this is so pretty. Well, it's not going to be pretty when Ivy gets back. You wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would in a heartbeat. You would hurt too, innocent, sweet. To save my relationship with Sam and my son, I would do whatever it takes. The choice is yours, Eve. Change the DNA test results. Or say goodbye to your darling daughters. They didn't have a clue what to do with a man like you, a man like you. They couldn't make your body sway, they couldn't take your breath away. Whitney! You cut down from there right this instant. Hey, pipe down. We want to hear that bimbo sing. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Move. God. Hi, honey. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Simone. baby. Oh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> what, are hey, baby. Hey. what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What look like I'm doing here? Oh, God, put on some clothes. Mama, mind your own business. I'm taking you and your sister out of The here. hell you are? You had your chance to save us, but you turned your back on us. You let us get into this booze, drugs, and men. I hope you're happy now. What do you say, lady? Uh, Let's see what you got. Now, see, that's what Mama's talking about right there, baby. Hey! Ow! Ow! I paid for the house rules. Leave the working girls alone. My daughters are not working girls. And you, you stop acting like a tramp. Why? Weren't you a tramp? What, isn't that what they say? They say, like, mother, like daughter? No. No, I'm not a tramp. Everyone in town knows how much of a slut you are. Ivy Crane says so. Ivy Crane says so. Ivy Crane says so. <laughs> That's skimpy enough. It's got to be just barely there. Ugh. Ha. Mm -hmm. Hot, hot, hot. No way Miguel's gonna resist this. Gotta stop that demon. Maybe I could get to Miguel first. Make him think I'm charity and, and trick him into making love to me. Yeah, it's gonna be so dark in there that he won't he won't know anyway. It shouldn't be too hard to trick him. Okay, <laughs> need something really sexy.
Good thing mom's never seen this. What's wrong? These are Ivy's clothes. You're right. I'm going to have to get them all in a smaller size, but I am buying all of them. Put them back, Teresa. Let me look. I am not putting anything back, and I'm not stealing them. These clothes were addressed to Mrs. Julian Crane, and you're looking at her. You know, you have a baby to be thinking about. You need to be taking care of yourself. Every time I start to forget about my problems and have just, like, a little fun, you go into spoil sport mode. You know what? I'm actually the only one that is thinking about you and the baby. It's late. You should be home in bed. I am home in bed. All right. Fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Curl on up in Queen Bee's bed. I'm going to return all these clothes right now. I'm going to like living here. I just wish I was living here with Ethan. Well, it's just you and me now, baby. Is that all you got to say? I thought you might, uh, want a little something. Well, baby, you know I do. It's just that I'm, I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Mm. Well, you know me. No cash, no happy happy. But, baby, I do know you. And I know that sometimes you don't always just take cash. <laughs> right? <sighs> no! No, Whitney! No, it's a dirty name! Whitney, don't! Oh. Hey, Mommy. How are you doing? I'm gonna get your, bring your sister out of here. Mm. I don't <laughs> think so. This doesn't have anything to do with you. You're wrong, lady. <laughs> Dead wrong. You see, your little girly here hasn't paid for her hit. No! No! No, it's no. Arrest these two for prostitution. What? what? Put the cuffs on them. No! Again? That's him! Get some crap! You look at the other way far too long, Eve. Everyone in Harmony knows what your daughter's going up to be. I can't keep covering for it. Isn't it bad enough that you're a trashy slut? No, you change our daughters into trashy sluts too, Eve. No, it's not like that. I just couldn't lie anymore. I couldn't lie. You're a whore, Eve. Eve, you are a whore. A whore. A whore, you are a whore. Hey, what's wrong? No, not again. Honey, what's wrong? I'm sorry, TC. I just thought it was Ivy pulling on my arm again. Are you sure that's all it is? Because you seem very upset. Oh, really? Oh, fine. Huh. Ivy is definitely up to something. I think it's time to reveal all. Feeling better? Yes, darling. Eve definitely made me feel better. Good. Uh, 
Uh, I'll bring the car around and we'll go home. Home? Heavens no, no. I'm not leaving here until I hear the DNA test results, Greg. Well, then why is it so important to you? Look, you said that you had nothing to do with David coming here to break up Sam and Grace's marriage, and I believed you. Well, I certainly hope so, Ethan, because I am not guilty of what I've been accused of. All the more reason I need to stay and make sure that my good name is cleared. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I don't mean to interrupt. I mean, I'm sure I'm the last person you want to see, seeing as I'm the one that got the ball rolling. Downhill. Yes, well, uh, I know Ivy Crane. And I know exactly what she's capable of. So, for all our sakes, why don't we just have the test results read and be done with it? Well, I couldn't agree more, Rebecca. You do? Yes. Eve, uh, are you ready to read the DNA test results now? Yes. I'm ready. I wish you'd just try to calm down. <laughs> With my big brother in the next room, afraid to see me because of the way I treated him at Christmas. I'm such a jerk. You're not. You're just, you're human. You, you let your emotions show. And you know what? You're not the only one who's mad at Antonio. If he hadn't disappeared, you and I would have never broken up. But, you know, we just... I'll have to try and make peace with one another now. I don't know. I'm still so angry at him for deserting our family. Don't forget about your mother. You promised her that you would bring your brother home. It's time to just forget about the past. And, you know, just think about the future, okay? You're right. I have to do what's right for my mother. I want to check out that. I want to go back to the island. No, I'm not leaving. Why do you care so much? I, I don't know. I can't explain it. For some reason, I feel this connection to your brother. And I don't know why. I mean, I've never even met him before. But all I know is that you and he need to settle whatever has come between you before you leave Bermuda. This is just such a magical place, and there's no telling what could happen.
It's okay if I come in and talk? We got a lot to settle. What are you doing? I asked you first. John is my son, right? Yes. Grace, John is your son. She's lying. You just give me those results. I'll read them. Oh, it hurts. Winning the, the pain. Come on, push, Teresa. Push, come on. Ring. Uh, I'm... Oh, I got it. I got it. What is it? A boy? A girl? It's a demon. Mama. 